everybody, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another video. And today I'm here joined by my little sidekick, Rutherford. What's going on, little buddy? As you can tell, he is very excited. But yeah, uh, in this video, I'm here to talk to you about travel humidors. Uh, not this one. This is a Herfidor by Humicare. It's a hard plastic shell humidor that's slated to hold around 10 cigars, something like that. It has a clamps on it. Rubber gasket, foam inserts, pretty nice. I'm not here to talk to you about this travel humidor. I am here to talk to you about this travel humidor. This here is the Voltec LifePod 2.0 humidor, travel humidor. And um, yeah, this is like the Ferrari of travel humidors. This thing is crazy. But yeah, I think it was in my most recent video where I did travel accessories for cigars, uh, somebody in the comment section brought this up. And I was like, I've never heard of that thing. So I looked it up, saw what it was, and saw how cool it looked. And uh, I reached out to Voltec, and Voltec was kind enough to send out this sample here. So at this point, to get a better look at this travel humidor, I'm gonna set up the camera in a bird's eye view so you can have a better look at the humidor and also so you don't have to look at my dog's butt. Be right back. All right, so I am set up here in my office. I hope the lighting's nice enough. But yeah, we have the LifePod 2.0 humidor right here. It comes in a very nice box that's actually in a sleeve. That just slides right off. And here is the box underneath. There's the camera, the reflection of the camera too. A lot of stuff I'm not used to doing, as you can tell. There's me, hey! But yeah, uh, <laughs> there's vault on the top, dope. So that's the box. And looking at the sleeve, you can see more of the details of what you get here on the back of the sleeve. But yeah, uh, this is slated to hold nine cigars, and if stacked, it can hold 17 cigars. That is what it's slated to hold. Uh, looking at the stuff real quick, it has a control pack storage. It's like a Boveda you could store in this little net here. That's cool. Uh, holds nine cigars, 17 when stacked. Spanish cedar cigar tray. Dope. Lighter and cutter pockets. Nice. Leather accents. Cool. Built-in lock system using vault safe technology with signature and impact latch that has a keypad. Very, very nice. So yeah, let's open up this box and see what this thing looks like in person. There we go. Looks quite nifty here. So here is the unit. It is encased in a uh, foam. And yeah, damn, nice. Underneath looks like we have some documentation. Documentation, quick setup guide, scan code, all that stuff. A key, a travel humidor with two keys. That is unheard of, at least to me. Security upgrade, also this cable. We'll look into this. So yeah, uh, taking a quick overview of the unit. Looks like we have latches there. Get this box out of the way. Let's open it up, <laughs> if we can. Maybe it needs to be unlocked, I don't know. Oh, no, okay. So yeah, you can see the cedar tray here. Nice leather strap to hold the cigars in place. At the top, on this side, this is where you'd put a Boveda bag and then lighter and cutter in these little pouches. The build quality is <laughs> extremely nice. The only drawback is for a travel humidor, this is a little hefty, I have to say. But you know your cigars are protected because this thing is beefy and it's definitely not gonna crumble under pressure, that's for darn sure. And I just, I really like the antique bronze, or what do they call this? I think, yeah, antique bronze, I believe that's what they call this. Uh, this color scheme here, it just looks choice. This is not a cheap unit. 
This is to, right now, currently on their website, this LifePod 2.0 is 229. That is not cheap. Um, this is, like I said in the intro, this is like the Ferrari of travel humidors. This is something for somebody who has a lot of expendable income and wants the nicest of the nice. This is that. Uh, it will protect your cigars and it also has extra things like, you know, a lock on it. Also, you know, keys. This has a lot of extras and that's what you're paying for along with the aesthetics. This is um, the creme de la creme when it comes to travel humidors. Yeah, uh, first impressions, I'm impressed. Let me, uh, let me read the manual, figure out how the heck things work on here, and I'll get back with you in a bit. All right, so we are back, and it is currently the next day. It is the next day because this requires, to get the electronic lock to work on this humidor, it requires a 9-volt battery. The unit, unfortunately, does not come with a 9-volt battery, and I don't have 9-volt batteries lying around. <laughs> I have AA, AAA, uh, not 9 volts though, so I had to acquire one of those. Anyways, to get this to unlock, all you do is press the button, this lock button, then the default code is 1, 2, 3, 4. It just unlocks. So there we go. So there's a look at the humidor filled up with cigars. Also, there's a little light right there, that's a nice touch. Yeah, this is what it looks like filled up. There's nine cigars here. You can double stack it to where it can hold 17 cigars and uh, install the battery. Just take out the tray and the nine volt you just install right there. I think I'm pointing to it, right? Yep, there we go. So yeah, um, really cool. I wish it came with a nine volt battery. That was a, a little annoying, but it is what it is. And the tray just slips right back in. Very nice, and as you can see, I put, uh, let me show that better, a Boveda bag in there as well. Yeah, this thing is pretty legit. I, I definitely appreciate the build quality, and also they thought ahead as well. Let me show you this. So, say the nine volt battery that's in there, say it dies, and to lock it, just hold the lock button. So that is locked. So say the 9 volt battery dies, and uh, you want to get into your humidor. One, you use the key, which has a cover right there. Let's see if I got, there we go. There's a cover, so keep pressing the button, sorry about that. So the keyhole's right there to unlock it. Also, if you want to use a micro USB, is that micro, yeah. Micro USB, you can plug it in to charge it up so it could, you know, power it up to unlock. So they thought ahead with that, I like that. But yeah, just to have a humidor, I think it is so cool, just to have a humidor that, that does that, that's pretty choice. Face value, uh, looking at it, looking at pictures of it online and seeing the price, it's something I don't see myself getting, but seeing it in person, and feeling it in person because it has such a nice build quality, I would definitely consider it. If I traveled more often, I would. this would be a no-brainer. Say if I traveled by plane monthly, this thing would be a no-brainer. I will be going on vacation in, uh, in April this year, so in a couple of months. I will take this on my vacation and then I'll do an update video after that to see how it does for like practical use. So yeah, um, that is pretty much it. I recommend this humidor for people who have a lot of expendable income and also travel a lot. I mean, pretty plain and simple. It's for practicality, also, it looks sick. It's a very, very well-built unit. If you like, not just for travel, but say if like you, uh, like for poker night and just wanna take this thing to show off to your friends, it's dope. <laughs> it's really freaking dope. So yeah, uh, those two core purposes <clears throat> uh, to look slick, also for travel, those would be the main reasons you'd want this. 
They also have another unit where uh, there's Bluetooth to where you can like track the humidity on your phone and probably lock it and unlock it from your phone. That's an upgraded model from this one. I think it's slated to hold the same amount of cigars though. But yeah, um, they definitely have you covered. So yeah, I will do an update video as far as practical use in a couple of months, probably late April, early, early May. But uh, yeah, till then, I like it. It's a little expensive, but I like it. If this interests you, I'll have a link in the description directly to this. Right now it is $229, I believe, and they are out of the antique bronze color. They have the covert black in stock, I believe, but they are out of the antique bronze as of right now. That could change at any time though. But yeah, vault -Tec, thank you. You have uh, quite the nifty unit here, and um, it is choice, I have to say. It is freaking choice. Not for everybody, but it is choice. So yeah, uh, thank you vault -Tec, once again, and everybody, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'll see you for the next one.